Okay, I don't know when I went live, <laughs> but I think when it was out, I was getting ready. And I hit. Oh, anyways, okay. So, um, I don't know why it's not horizontal. I apologize. It should be. Oh, my back. Hi, guys. I accidentally hit live. I wasn't ready. I, I accidentally hit it. <laughs> anyway, I'm super depressed. Because I look different. No, I don't. Anyways, I wrote this down because, you know, so I'm allowed, I do my fitness pal basically to tr do something. Even if it's small, it's still something, right? So I'm allowed 1,990 calories a day per mm, my fitness pal. Today I had 1,861, which means I only have 129 calories uh, left. Cat Black, just listen, I want to teach you a lesson, Cat Black, okay? I want to teach you a lesson. Whenever you get married and you say I do and you're in love, that doesn't erase all of your world's problems, all right? Um, if you think that when you get married, all of your personal problems are just going to go da -da 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 -da, in the wind, you have a rude awakening coming. All right, so let me break it down. I had some Sam Yang noodles because somebody requested that on a cameo today and I could only eat a quarter. So that was 138 calories. Then I had Mr. Beast Burger, which is 950 calories for a Mr. Beast Burger. Then 550 calories for the Mr. Beast fries. I had a big bowl of, um, I had two cups of Brussels sprouts in the air fryer with barbecue sauce. So the sprouts are 77 calories. The barbecue sauce is 40 calories because I put two tablespoons. That's all I had left in the bottle. And then I had a three in one for 106 calories. So that's a total of 1,861 calories, which means I don't have any calories left for the day. And we're going to watch a movie later and I can't have any snacks. Yeah, I was going the F off today about you having a mirror on your stream. Wait, so you're doing personal eating videos? No, but if somebody sends me a cameo and requests something like that, then I don't mind, you know? Oh. Brenda, I think this Sansa weirdo should worry about what they eat. All right, how about that? Hi, hot tea. No one cares. Okay, I know it had a lot of sodium. I'm not... I have no snacks, but I look like a snack. <laughs> I'm dreaming of Everest. <laughs> Maybe a snack that's been in my IKEA drawer for a few days. Golden girl, ice water for you. <laughs> just treat yourself. No, I can't do that all the time, Mike. I wish. So I'll just wait till tomorrow. It's not like I'm gonna eat like fast food tomorrow, you know. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna have. I'm craving something home cooked. You know what? I'm craving mafe, but I only have crunchy peanut butter. And with mafe, you have to use smooth peanut butter. <laughs> And I don't want to do more grocery. No, I don't eat fast food every single day. Today I had fast food, so I don't think I want to eat that again tomorrow. I don't know what I'm going to make, but... You know what I wanted to do? I wanted to have uh, grilled cheese and tomato soup, but... <clears throat> no, I started counting calories today. I went overboard on, on seeds, on sunflower seeds, so... Those are no more, so I'm not having any more. <laughs> they have Talibadid. Yeah, they have like something like DoorDash. No, Brenda, I could care about negative 500 on the drama between SJM and, Mon and Mon Monty. Okay, I, I don't I don't care. When's the last day I didn't eat fast food? Well, I had fast food today. I don't know. What did I eat the day before? I don't even remember. Did I have fast food? <laughs> Nothing happened about blackout or something. Only one day for three hours and that's it. Yes. Hopefully we don't have to have another blackout. It is like, I think 11 p.m. here after 11. Oh, yeah, I had Chinese. Yeah. Sunflower seeds, yeah. If you the thing is, is if you have barbecue sunflower seeds, sodium, and they're high in calories, like nuts and seeds, you can go overboard. We are saving up for travel, but we have a budget for food, so that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to write down what I eat and count it and plan it out before the day starts. And because if I don't, look what happens. I had a whole Chinese meal, and then I had, I think the match boost at night, right? I don't know. Yeah, I know vertically. I don't know. I messed up the freaking thing. I messed up the thing. So actually, um, so yesterday I drew all those characters, you know what I mean? And I want to update, I want to update something. Um, I didn't really take the time to do a good, um, breezy. So this was the one I did and I made a new one. I made a new one. Okay. Um, so I made a new one. So here it is. This is a new breeze. <laughs> Can you see? Cause of the. The orientation so this is her and I, I 
I used like a side by side. And then um, this is her muscly arm. She punched her grandma here. Grandpa, it says I'm 75 on his tear sweater. And here is a uh, uh, girly bread waiting in the attic window of the 1999 per night Airbnb. Do you think it looks like her a bit? <laughs> kind of looks like Jennifer Aniston. <laughs> so I think this one sucks and we can rip it up. And this is a new one for you. Enjoy. So accurate. Yeah. I can't really have any more salt. Sell it to me. I should start making porch like paintings and put them. I could get nice canvas and make real artistic of whatever you want. And then I can frame it and sell them and ship them off to you guys. How much? You want this one for real? <laughs> I'm 75. I don't know how to draw old people for some reason. So that's what the grandpa looks like. But <sighs> 10 dollars, 10 bucks. That's more than I deserve. Sure. I can mail it to you. Behind cravings only happen occasionally. I think Chantel's cravings. The thing is, is Chantel era, artist era. You would love a caricature? Chantel originals. Seriously, I would do it. I mean, I would do them better than this even slightly. But yeah, I would do them like nice in color. I could make them in color and then frame them and sell them. <laughs> you could ask me for whatever you want. A picture of whatever you want. Okay, I'll email you my ID. I would never, do I've never doxed anyone who sent me an email or sent me anything. I would not, not dox you guys at all. I know, I know, I know um, you're going to say, well, you doxed FF Google. That was a complete accident or whatever, like on when I showed her number on the screen and I offered to pay to change it. So that's different. But I've had a lot of people send me their numbers and things. I never do that. No, I'm not like that. No, but I know you have to at least say it. You have to at least say, don't share this. I know. I'm sharing vertically because for some reason my phone, I don't know, I must have hit go live before I had a chance to set it up properly. So it's vertical. I'm sorry about that. Popcorn is good snack. Yeah, I know, but... <laughs> You know what it is? It's just getting used to not being able to just eat whatever you want, especially if you want to eat what you want and you want to do mukbangs, you know, and you want to be a foodie. You have to, you know, I think most mukbangers who are not obese have some form of discipline they incorporate in their daily routine, their da daily life, where they just like watch what they're eating off screen. They exercise, you know, that's why I had the Brussels sprouts. I tried to eat something healthy, but I'm, I'm feeling really hungry. Like I could eat a 12 inch sub, some chips. I could totally just like pick out. <laughs> But that fact, that feeling of being hungry is what I'm going to feel like good the next tomorrow and like healthier already, you know, like I'm going to feel okay, you know, I'm not going to wake up bloated and everything. So I need to remember this, you know, I've learned how to make do with what I have and learn to appreciate the simple things. Yes, yes, exactly. Hot tea. Gratitude is the key to happiness. Because like I always say, and I've learned this too, if you're waiting to get a Van Cleef necklace, or a Hermes bag, or you know, a huge house a car, if you have a car, let's say you have a Kia and it's, you know, old and everything, but it gets, it works, you know, and you're really just longing for a really nice, I don't know, new car, you know, and it's like, you already have one. Be grateful. Like, well, you, you know what I mean? You, you probably have a lot more than a lot of people and gratitude. If you're waiting for it to be happy on material things, you're never going to be happy because there's always someone who has more than you, you know, don't compare your journey and just be grateful with what you have. That's the key. No, I would never spend that on a Birkin, on a purse. Never. I'm totally happy with my hand-me-down Calvin Klein. Totally happy. I mean, I don't even really need, you know what? I don't even bring, I don't even bring my wallet out. I don't, my wallet always stays here. I don't even know why I need a purse. I need a purse, you know why? Put the microphones, the stand, um, water, stuff like that. So I don't even care about purses. Anyways, a Birkin is like, what, 10,000 to 30,000? Can't even fit much in it. What the heck? Comparison is the thief of joy. Exactly. Yes. What's the coolest hand-me-down you ever received? <laughs> I don't know, actually. I can't really think. I mean, I haven't received that many. You should carry ID. You think so? I mean, I'm not going to bring my... Uh, I'm afraid to lose my passport. I can make drawings for people. Like actual art. You could have a Foodie Beauty art. I'll, I'll sign it, Beauty Bite, Foodie Beauty. And I'll, I'll get some, like, you know, real paper and some color pencils. Draw something, like, make something and frame it in a cheap-ass frame. Yeah, that's the thing. I'm just trying to count calories because I realize I'm not going to be, you know, like that's most things I do in life are just half ass. And you know what? If At least it's something. I mean, just counting calories, even like right now, I know it's going to work because I feel hungry. And that means that I'm not eating and binging like I normally would all night, you know, on snacks or whatever. So I took my meds. Um, I had my collagen today, which is good. I, look at I'm getting bags and wrinkles. <laughs> 
just eat slower. But that burger was good, but 950 calories for a burger? Sucks. Why? Ah, uh, I'm mad at myself because that's, I could have had like calories to eat tonight. Oh well. Like when I think about it, the Wendy's grilled chicken burger is just as good and it's like half the calories. <laughs> just do portion control. Sodium is awful for eye bags. I'm gonna try not to eat anything. <laughs> I'm gonna try really hard for real. It's just, it's depressing. It depresses me. But I know tomorrow I'll, that depression will be gone because I'll have a whole day I can eat and I'll be proud of myself that I didn't eat tonight. Maybe even with being a foodie, maybe think about more descriptive words. Wolf pup. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> you should draw my profile picture. Turkey burger. Yeah, you need leaner meat. That's the problem. It has less calories in it. Or I could make ground chicken out of a chicken breast in my food processor. Because like chicken burgers are good too. Yeah, but look, Bally, look at the picture I made. It's her. Ground chicken scares me. Gotta really, I know, yeah. If I get anything, a hard thing, I'm done. By the way, the sand was in the cheese. It wasn't in the meat the other day. Oh, it's your drawing. Yeah, sorry, sorry, Everest. What's wrong with our curtains? Kim Richards. Yeah, there's like a sandy substance in the cheese. I don't know why. You couldn't live in the Middle East, you sweat. Oh, I sweat. So that's why I'm depressed. I don't even want to watch a movie without snacks. It's so boring. I don't care what anyone says, snacks make the movie more interesting. A hundred percent. Could you watch a movie with no snacks? I know, but popcorn, it can't have any butter. Wait a minute. No, it can't because the popcorn has calories. I only have like 136 calories left for the day. <laughs> okay, this is what I normally put on my popcorn, okay? About half a stick of butter melted, salt, onion powder, dill, and a lot of Parmesan cheese. It's mostly fiber popcorn, I know. Plain popcorn is very boring. It tastes like sadness. <laughs> I got that plain popcorn sad. <laughs> no, it doesn't work with that song. <clears throat> Sharp old cheese with the butter. Sharp cheese on popcorn? I hate diets. Me too. <laughs> oh, Wally Nut. Oh, I'll show you the picture I did of the, my kitty yesterday. Check this out. This is my hamster. Okay. Mm. There's my cat. My hamster is great. Well, I mean, he'd probably be happier, like, living underground, but he probably wouldn't live that long. He would be, he's a, he's a prey. He doesn't realize that. Please, I need more drawings. Okay, who can I draw? <laughs> Thank you, Miss Casual Viewer. Putting back, cutting back on cheese, yeah. Yo mama. I feel like that would be boring. Let's draw someone we don't like. No, I'm just joking. I already did DC. I did that one yesterday. What is it? Uh, do I have to show you guys again yesterday's? Okay, this is... You know who. Just sniping today. Mama Goob. Mama Juice. How? My husband. Dee Dee. Me. FFG. Yabba. I don't even know. Anyways, well, who were you asking for? <laughs> okay, I gotta do... Oh yeah, DC. They're somehow so recognizable. <laughs> I think your mama would be boring to draw. I'd have to look... I don't know. Why do you have a minor in your chat? What, like, how do I know everyone's age? Do you think I'm an effing fortune teller? What kind of stupid question is that? It's like my responsibility to be aware of the age of everyone in my chat? No. Do some parenting and get your kid off the internet if you're worried about it. Frig. I know! People are dumb! Sorry, I nothing makes me rage more than dumb, dumbness. How many hamsters have you really had? I'm good, be our guest. Um, no, just one hamster. I've pro I proved it. He has the same spot. Trust me, if Howie passes, we're having a funeral, so don't worry about it. It is hot today. I don't know the temp. I think it was like 50. Like, what are they, what are they insinuating? Like, what are you insinuating? By asking me, why do you have a minor in your chat? How do you know they're a minor? Ask yourself that. Do Sam and Yabba's wedding on the... And do you know how many trolls come in here and say they're young? Like, you don't know anyone's age. It's not... It's like... It's so stupid. <laughs> I feel like I should respect the elderly. I don't know why. I feel bad drawing someone elderly. I identify as a nine-year-old tree. Is she still making fun of my weight? Is she still making fun of me? Probably. Make a sweet popcorn, butter, and sugar. Stop making me hungry! 
Imagine we ask everyone here to write their age and nationality. Yeah, I'm going to, exactly, if you come in my chat. All right, can I ask how old you are? And can I see your ID? You have to send me a screenshot of your ID to prove it, because anyone can come in here and say, I'm 12! You know, like, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? <laughs> Think of gross food. Stress <laughs> <laughs> Nothing tastes as good as skinny feels. Yeah, well, you haven't had a 12-inch roasted chicken from Substop with Ranch and Southwest, have you? <laughs> they don't know that stupidity knows no bounds yes how walking feels that's true yeah it would feel good to like not have any pain in my body <clears throat> the pistachio bar i know i want to try it i hate the people hey i know who i hate whenever they go uh, on tiktok and they're like <gasps> and then they tap it with their nails and then they break it apart i get so mad like i want to try it <laughs> yeah we'll put a disclaimer if you're uh, a minor scram now you know or have been informed of a minor whom you have entrusted to be your mod. What? Who? I can never ever get um, the crunchy noises like they do in, in those ASMR vids. So I would suck at ASMR. I don't know. <laughs> Am I mean today? Yeah, I'm going to cook next video. I think. Yeah. Ghostface is not a mod. They're not a mod. Don't say BS things and you won't get time to help. I don't know what to cook. I don't know. I have to think about it. I have to see what I have. I think it's very disturbing that JB is going around telling male YouTubers that, yo, mama, is talking about her daughter. I've never heard him talk about her daughter. Listen, uh, people, again, if you talk about someone's parenting, that doesn't mean you're talking about their kids, okay? So it's different. It's different. Whoever's wasting their time doing the face like emoji i don't care you're wasting your 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 thumb spamming <laughs> like cracker barrel i've never been there or have i been there i don't remember i think i went when i went stateside did i ever do a crackle barrel one no i made cracker barrel style meatloaf <clears throat> yeah ask a question about hijab go ahead roar what is that emoji i don't i can't see but i can fix that Uh, whoa. Mm. You know when you put your glasses on for the first time? She talked about foodies and other by way. Really? <laughs> At least my mom doesn't have a hate channel. Would you not be hella embarrassed? Would you not be embarrassed? Not be embarrassed. Okay? If your mom, at her ripe old age of whatever, was had a hate channel and was sitting there slowing down. Yaba does this. Slow, trash, but scaba. Slows down me walking up a ramp. That's her content. Would you not be embarrassed that your mother has earns money this way to buy you a bicycle? Or, um, like, it, it, I don't know what um, Boozin said about my mom, but if it's anything along the lines of, look at the daughter you raised. What about your parents? I don't have a criminal record. I've never punched out anybody elderly. Um, I didn't have a seizure from drinking so much. So, um, sorry. What? <sighs> Please. I was on my own at 16 because I was disrespectful and deserved my ass kicked out of the house. My mom still made sure I was fed and everything and had money, but um, I still went, I still graduated high school, uh, honors program, made it to university. I still did what I had to do home, like pretty much homeless couch surfing, partying all the time as a teenager. So yeah, no criminal record, no beaten up old people. So I think she did pretty darn good for what she was a single mom, teen mom. Yes. <laughs> Love you, mom. So yeah, yeah. And I wasn't anyone's bonus daughter. Yeah, exactly. Not as certainly not anyone on the internet. Imagine talking about my husband. She's disgusting talking about my husband's appendage and the size of it. And yet, what? You were going to Airbnb bees, uh, starfish with garlic bread. What do you like? Have you seen him? He's a freaking midget. No offense to short people. What do you think? What do you think? Like, seriously, are you kidding? Please get a life. Please get a life. Okay. Anyway, good God, I can't deal with this freaking crap. <laughs> Disgusting. Doesn't matter, Shan Jones. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. She's making fun of it when she was going to marry somebody she met online. Who looks like that? Like, get a, get a life. Anyway, you're getting baited. Oh, well, I don't mind venting. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not mad. I'm just, like, speaking facts. And this is how I do it. Sorry, yeah, I don't know. What's the proper politically correct term then to use for extremely short, like in a derogatory way? 
I'm going to have all this. I'm going to be canceled now. Shan Jones, you're missing the entire point, okay? You're missing the entire point. Has nothing to do with that. Nothing. It only has, it doesn't matter. It's not the point of how she saw it. It's the point of her having the nerve to talk about it and make fun of it. When, hello, like, are you kidding? Look who you were going to bed with. That's the point. I hope you can get it. I hope you can connect the dots. You can speak your piece. Lord knows they do. Yeah, they're going to do it for another three hours after this live stream if they're not already. Little people. <laughs> no, he's, I don't know. Ugh, anyway, manlet. Manlet! Remember that term? Sorry, Tracy, I'm still going like this. <laughs> yeah, goodbye, Shan Jones. No one cares about you. Hi, Wheezy! I'm extremely short and drunk. I am short, yeah, but I'm not making fun of anyone's, uh, you know, stuff. People get mad when you speak up, they make their entire channels doing the exact same thing. Exactly. It's my channel. I'm going to talk about whatever I want to. I, I hate when people tell me what not to talk about or what to talk about. Like, no. Okay? No. <laughs> yes, Suzanne. I still have my cat. No, I sold her on the market. She's turning tricks to earn her wet food. Motherhood is sacred. Stop, ladies and gentlemen. If I had a 14-year-old male in my chat, I would get to the bottom of it. Whatever. Good for you, Sue Ellen. Go virtue signal somewhere else. No one cares. No one cares. If you want to think I'm a predator, I don't care. I really don't. Whatever. Get Just get lost. You're annoying. Yeah, but stop shaming women who had abortions. They think that I give a crap about that. I don't care about anything you have to say about anything in my past. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. You're not going to shame me. It doesn't matter. Like, I'm the one it happened to. And if I don't care and you care, that's that's weird. And I'm not angry, Penny May. I'm not angry. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm just speaking facts. That's all. And I'm very animated about it. Not a predictor pot calling kettle black. What are you talking about? No, I didn't see anyone make fun of my pool. I don't care. It's not like mine. I don't own it. Let's stay away from my body, my choice. I need an autograph. So please let me buy your artwork. If you want to, if you want to buy my artwork, email me or reach out to me and I'll make you a, a personalized artwork. But you have to pay and you have to pay shipping. <laughs> Hey, Shelly, no snacks. You would literally pay. I would totally buy a painting. Okay, you guys can, honestly, if you're serious, um, email me and, uh, or message me on, um, probably message me on TikTok or, yeah, maybe email. I don't know. I'll, okay, what I'll do is after the stream, I'll put in the community post where you can reach out to me. So just, you can also check the description, it should be there, but put the rage to paper, make art. <laughs> Don't talk about my mom and how I was raised when you're all degenerates, all right? Lesson learned, that's it. What are we doing? What are you doing? I was just uh, ranting and raving. Her channel's gonna become one with the sea. Mine? I'm, I'm hungry. Grab the strawberries. <laughs> uh, I'd rather not eat anything. I don't know. I try not to have negative vibes. I'm not like angry or I'm not trying to be negative. Like I'm just like giving my opinion on situations like you know like on things that are going on that you know these people strawberries are low calorie oh, i have to add sugar no they're too sour oh she likes you and i think he's asking so funny i don't think he likes me he just like i don't know why she's sniping oh okay where's her picture i want her to see it you have a new profile picture where did it go? No, I can't show. It's uh, Dreaming of Everest now. Darn it. Oh, yeah. Here you go. <laughs> well, I have no life, right? So I have time to draw everybody you don't like. <laughs> hey, people have made effigies of me. People have made dolls of me. People have made silhouettes of me. Uh, T-shirts of my silhouette, which, by the way, Buddy Gourley Bread. Have you seen your silhouette, Buddy? Yeah. Let's make one a t-shirt of his silhouette. People have also describing you passing away in great detail. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. By the way, I heard somebody I, on your mamas. They're like, she's probably going to be cremated. Okay, if you knew anything, which you don't, you don't have a brain cell in your head. Muslims don't get cremated. They get, they get washed, they get wrapped in a cloth, and they get buried in the dirt. No fancy coffin, no cremation. Wrong again. Oh, wait, aren't I supposed to be deported of like two days ago? Wrong again. It's a tension, you're right, Bally, yeah. Kuwait extended the cutoff to the 30th. Right, right, right. There's always an answer. There's always an answer. 
Yeah, I am hangry. I am. It's a real thing. Look it up. No, I don't have any snacks. I can't because of my fits. Ow. Oh yeah, Mar Marissa Rose. We haven't heard, we haven't seen the dog emoji or the poop emoji a thousand times already. Good clap for you. <laughs> You've won original original post of the night. Now no one cares. Get your butt out of here. Bye. Why can't you eat what you want? Because I, I don't want to have back pain anymore. I don't understand these people who want to sue people for throwing right back at them what they dish out every single day to everyone else. If I, by that logic, I could sue everyone in Gore World if they're going to be suing everyone for stupid reasons. You're talking about me. I'm going to sue you. Yeah, but you're talking about other people every day. Like, that's your career. How are you going to be mad when it's done to you? And, like, what? Anyway. A treadmill? <laughs> I just want to be like those people on Wally. -E. No, I'm just joking. People can't take the heat. They need to get out of the kitchen. Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Like Wally. <laughs> Too many crybabies. I just want to be. I just want to breathe. Anyone else addicted to salads? Crickets. Crickets. <laughs> Tumbleweed. I don't think salads can be addictive. Really? You gotta have thick skin for this vlogging. Yes. Shut up, Chantel. <laughs> okay. Uh, blue cheese on your salad? <laughs> blue cheese mixed with ranch I could probably do. Anyways, guys, my sciatic is hurting. I think I'm going to get off. <sighs> yeah, Stella. Because I don't want to be in this, like, sit sitting position too long. Her Thanks, guys, for listening to me bitch and moan. <laughs> but um, I'll see you guys in the next stream. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> Those of you who want drawings, I'll let you know how you can reach out to me.